guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be a super helpful video guys it happens very often at the shop guys and many people ask me that question you worked on your bmw and all of a sudden guys it doesn't want to start or slow it starts very slow you may even get transmission message codes and uh, guys the car will just not be running right we'll explain the number one reason we see here after working on let's say throttle body removal replacement intake manifold purge valve uh, anything like that guys uh, rebuilding ccv system okay what is the number one cause your bmw may not start after that or it will start very slowly now before we start every single car we get at the shop we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos specifically on three series guys we make more than four to five hundred videos why we do all that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information what we'll be doing here should work on bmw e90 e91 92 93 guys we'll demonstrate on six cylinder gasoline engine that we have here in the united states so it should work on uh, any six cylinder and it should be very helpful on a four cylinder engine as well guys but unfortunately we do not have this one in the united states any of the parts or tools used in our videos guys you can find the link shared in the description of the video below for your convenience let me show you what we have here guys this car okay uh, what we did uh, on this car guys we had to change we had to change the ccv hose upper ccv that's the crank case ventilation hose guys we had to remove the intake manifold we put the car together and the car guys takes forever to start it was misfiring it was running rough it wasn't good guys it was terrible so what caused that okay we were freaking out a little bit but it's not the first time it happened so we had an uh, we had an idea what is happening and many people guys uh i read on the forums and many people in the comment section below asked me that question why my bmw doesn't start after i remove the intake manifold or something now things to consider guys the gasket okay let's get the gasket uh, intake manifold gasket guys if it's too flat if it's leaking what will happen your car will get too much air as a result your car may, may not start guys because it will be sucking more air than it should now i would definitely recommend every time you remove the intake manifold get new gasket guys it's a must now something else guys what else uh, you have to make sure that the throttle body gasket where it attaches to the intake manifold it's not leaking air as well this is the gasket right here if it's too flat it's bad guys because vacuum leak will cause your car not to start any vacuum leak that's where the car is getting extra air and it doesn't know of after the uh, uh, MAF sensor it could lead to that and this is guys the mass airflow uh, this is the intake boot after the mass airflow sensor so check for leaks make sure all the clamps are tight and if it's still not all right guys what else it could be guys okay make sure that the purge control valve on the bottom purge control valve it's connected to the uh, to the intake okay because that's a common mistake people forget to connect it and uh, if you don't connect the purge valve what will happen your car will be getting a crazy amount of air and it may not start or run correctly another thing you will need to yank those wires out okay when you're working on those things to get them loose and people will often pull them to the side move them and what will happen check it out this is your crankshaft position sensor that wire will get loose guys this is one of the most common reasons we see here at the shop that wire will get loose it may be in but may not be in all the way and as a result guys what will happen okay your car will not be reading the crankshaft position sensor and as a result it may start very slow so those are guys some top things to check out okay if your car if your bmw 3 series does not start after you did some work to it hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to solve that problem thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time